Hey, what's up? It's Mr. J with Sai and the Fly. Today, we're talking about dry ice. So what is dry ice? Dry ice is simply carbon dioxide that's been frozen. We find carbon dioxide everywhere. We find it in the atmosphere. We find it when we exhale, when we breathe. Uh, we find it in our soft drinks. That's what adds the carbonation. Carbon dioxide's everywhere. Uh, we can do a lot of really fun stuff with it when it's frozen. Uh, and I say frozen, I mean really frozen. This is negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 78 and a half degrees Celsius. This is very cold, which is why I'm wearing my glove today. Uh, it's very dangerous if you uh, touch it to your skin. So if you're doing this at home, uh, you can definitely want to make sure you're wearing a glove. Uh, some people ask me where you can find dry ice, and actually it's more common than what you might think. You can find it at a lot of uh, supermarkets. Uh, I know uh, there's a local supermarket here in town that, that carries dry ice. Uh, but I find that I find the best uh, price at a, a local welding supplies vendor. Uh, so just kind of look around, call around, and I guarantee you can find it in your hometown. Uh, one of the really fun things to do with dry ice, and a lot of people do it during Halloween time, is they simply throw it in some water and kind of make it that, that foggy, mist, scary look. Uh, what I have here is a very large beaker, a 3,500 3, milliliter beaker. And I, I've warmed up the water, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this uh, dry ice into the water. And what I would like for you to do is just observe what's happening. Right now you can see a little bit of this, this fog coming off of the dry ice because of the room temperature versus the negative 110 degrees below zero uh, temperature of this ice. When I do this, I'm going to place it in there and immediately what you're going to see is you're going to see a very quick reaction. Uh, what, what's happening here is called sublimation. Uh, we have solids, liquids, and gases are three main states of matter. The solid, which has molecules that are tightly pressed in together, vibrating, which was what the molecules look like in that dry ice. When I place them into the liquid, uh, the molecules in the liquid are, are slightly sliding past one another. And then immediately you get gas, which is this right here, which is perfectly fine to touch and it actually feels rather warm. Um, Gas molecules are, are spread apart, and they're moving quickly. Sublimation is the process of which solids turn directly into a gas. They completely miss the liquid wet state, which is why we call it a dry ice. So I showed you how we can do some, uh, some really cool fog effects for Halloween. Uh, what I'd like to show you today is uh, some dry ice bubbles. Now this is really cool, uh, especially if you have uh, something that has a, a smooth uh, level rim. Uh, the beaker here that we were using earlier had this little lip here. Sometimes that really uh, doesn't help us make the bubble that we would like. Uh, so what, I'm going to use this giant flask. Uh, and we have a, a, a level edge. This is great too if you do this uh, experiment with kids or whatever. They can't really stick their hands inside of it, so it's, it's safe. Um, like I said earlier, make sure that you're wearing gloves. I have some dry ice here that I would like to put in the flask. But beforehand, um, I kind of want to make it a little extra cool. Uh, so I'm going to add just a couple of drops of food coloring here. Just a little bit to, to give us a little cool factor. I'm going to let that dilute there. And as that's going, I'm going to place this dry ice into the uh, flask just like I did with the beaker. And you'll see uh, sublimation occurring. If, uh, the ice is subliming in the, uh, the warm water. Uh, remember, the warmer the better. And as I place the ice into the flask, immediately you see a really cool effect. Just like you did with the beaker. Now what we're going to do here is ahead of time I've mixed some soap and some water into a small bowl and soaked a string, a shoestring inside. I'm going to release some of the excess soap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a soapy film across the top and when I do that the soap will catch the carbon dioxide and create a really cool effect with the bubble. Carbon dioxide's capturing inside of the bubble. Once the bubble maxes out its elasticity, it pops. 
Mr. J was signing the fly. The place where science makes sense.